our young people have been working extremely hard for the last 10 months. Uh, they've been doing research in the community. Uh, they've been working with talented artists, as well as taking all of the research that they have, uh, they've gathered and turning it into creative content so that way they can give it right back to the community. They'll also be releasing a beautiful anthology. So this is literally a celebration of our youth stories and they are the future. So it's important that we give them the tools and honor them for their stories and let them know that they are heard. That's magic. <laughs> Today we are practicing our final dance and so that dance is kind of split into three sections just as the anthology is. And so those three sections are before COVID, during the height of COVID, um, so like think peak quarantine time, um, and then to now. So it's not necessarily post COVID, but just kind of figuring out what our world looks like um, in the midst of all these changes that they've lived through and interpreting that in some movements that each of the young people have come up with and throwing them all together, trying to figure out how to memorize them and transitions and all of that. <laughs> it's a story. We all been through some stuff during COVID. Uh, it's like giving the, t giving the chance to tell our story through arts after covid i started writing a lot and like a lot of stuff was happening family members were leaving and like my mother was like telling me about like friends that were leaving and like i was just writing about my feelings and emotions i've been in deep since my freshman year which is two this coming up on the end of my third year in deep and i haven't been in a block party yet but i know that before they would do big block parties and they would have like shows to get the community involved and we had planned it for my freshman year, but never got to it. So it's kind of like, like a welcome back party for us, like a, a way to get the community back involved to like show what we've done and like show people that they weren't alone in the time of COVID. It's been a crazy two years um, and celebrating that we've made it through, even though it was incredibly difficult and challenging, just celebrating all of the hard work that they've put in and putting them first and making sure that the community hears what they have to say about what they've been through these last two years. You showed me that capitalism isn't the only thing that doesn't give a dime or a nickel about the people who sweat purpose, dreams, and, and talents to, to live by a fraction, fraction of their worth. I hope you're happy that I lost life to gain you. This show um, is not just you know adults telling the youth to do these things. These youth, they come to us with, with their ideas and what they want to present to the community. And we just kind of help facilitate all of that and uh, push them along as well as like coming up with these ideas together. Um, so it's really just been an opportunity to um, be able to work closely with young people because they, they just have so many amazing ideas and um, they just need the outlet to be able to tell those stories. Thank you.